Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm excited to do something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I haven't. I just didn't find like the right palette to do it with, and I was just jumping and couldn't be decisive, and I finally found a palette that I want to do a full face of. So today I'm going to be doing a full face with one of the brand new palettes that I just picked up, and this is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs palette, and I'm so excited to try this out. I haven't even dipped a finger in to swatch anything. I've done nothing but open the box. I'm excited. I originally found this video idea from Hannah Louise Poston, I believe is how you pronounce her last name, and she did a full face with Modern Renaissance and it looked gorgeous. So I'll link her channel in that video down below so you can check that out. I know a couple other people I think have done the same video idea, but she was the first one that I saw do it, so I'm gonna have her video down below. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of different videos. I really want to do a lot more full face of blank palette videos, so let me know down below what other palettes you want to see me do this challenge with, and I hope if you have it and you'd like to, you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday and in the month of December I'm hoping to have a video up or live stream up every day of the month. Okay so just a couple things out of the way to start. I know some other videos that I saw doing this kind of challenge people were using the shadows as like an actual full face so, like they were trying to use it as foundation they were trying to use shades as concealer. What I'm doing is using this for anything color on my face. So I have a foundation on, I've got concealer on, and I have powder. That's it. I just wanted to make sure I had a good blank slate. I also primed my eyes and then just set that. And that's it. So everything else that I need, contour, bronzer, eyeshadow, eyebrow. I don't know about lip. I honestly don't know if these are lip safe, but uh, I'll, I'll try it out. <laughs> but everything else has to come from this palette. First off, right out of the gate, this palette looks stunning. I love the shades that we get in here. I really like these blues over here. I think these neutrals over here are really nice, and I see a shade that would look really good as a bronzer, I think, so I'm excited to try that out. I know the shade in the middle, they're actually marketing it as a highlight. I didn't like the highlight from the first Zodiac palette. I thought it was a little bit chunky. I thought it really didn't blend out that well, but I'll try that one out and see if it's any different. So since I already have all of my face foundation done and set, my next step is to jump into a bronzer. So I think I'm going to try using the shade from Pisces. So this is kind of like a darky brown shade, and that looks like a nice bronzer shade right there. So let me get in clean off a little bit my bronzer brush. Okay, so I'm just using my color switch that I normally use for eyeshadow, but I'm just using it to make sure there's nothing of my traditional bronzer left on my brush. A concern of mine is how I'm actually going to get product out onto here, but actually it's a fairly sizable pan, so I'm just gonna kind of swirl. Oh, I got pink on here. Oh, let's not use that side. So I'm gonna be careful and just try to get it in the actual pan and not get any of the hot pink that's like right next to it. Though it looks like that would make a really pretty blush. In this palette, you do get a big mirror, so I'm gonna try to use that and not block off my light. <laughs> hmm, the tone of that is actually really nice. I just gotta be very careful not to hit the pink right next to it. I think I still got some of the pink in there. Just gonna bring this up a little bit. Ooh, I actually like the way that that looks so much. It's a nice tone, it's a nice shade. It actually blended out. Nice, so we have bronzer done. Next, I'm gonna pick a shade to contour. I think this will be a lot easier because my contour brush is already basically the size of the pan. And for contouring, Trying to find like an ashy shade. I think the closest one, let me just swatch Libra real quick. I think it's gonna be Libra. It looks a little purpley, but it is ashy. So I'm gonna take that matte shade and just Ooh, 
Ooh, ooh, that was dark on that side. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let's blend. Yeah, I think I just put way too much on this side of my face because it blended out nicely on this side. But no matter how much I blend, I, I'm stuck with this like line right here. What I want to do is take my face powder and the really light, it's almost like a light pink shade that's Scorpio right here. I'm going to try and just use that to pat out a little bit of that harshness. And then go back in and blend. So that looks a little bit better, but I definitely went a little too ham on this side. I do like the way that this side turned out. Now that we have bronzer and contour done, I normally go in with blush. And I was first thinking, you know, this matte pink right here, the really hot pink that is Aries, would look really cute, but I'm feeling kind of a glowy blush today. So I wanna go in to the baked shade that is Virgo. So this is like a peachy, like orangey kind of blush, not blush, shade, and I think it will look pretty as a blush. So I'm gonna swirl in my blush brush. Just try to get an even coating. And I'm gonna grab a smaller mirror because this is covering up my light and the, I mean, I'm not complaining that the mirror is huge because it is a nice mirror. I just can't see it so nicely when I have like my lighting set up for, for the studio. So let's just, I'm not seeing it show up too much. I'm gonna add a little bit more product. Getting some sheen, and I do see some color. I think it looks cute, it's subtle. Which I, not every day do I wanna go out and do just like a blush kind of blush, you know? And to blend that out, I'm gonna take a dual fiber brush and just kind of go like this. So now everything's done except for highlights. So I do want to try out that middle highlight shade right here and see if it blends out better than the, uh, the first palette. Oh my god. Okay, okay, that's a little bit more than I thought it would do. Okay, okay, light hand, light hand. Ooh, okay, we're going for the blinding highlight. Do a little bit on the nose. Hmm, and by a little bit, I guess I mean a lot. And then I wanna do just a little bit. I've been really liking putting highlight like right here on the bridge of my nose. Ooh. I'm also gonna go back into that duo fiber and try to just blend that out. Okay, so I will say right off the bat, this does emphasize texture. I have some texture right here and it's just popping. But I will say it is a lot less um, chunky than the highlighter from the first palette and I can blend it out. So I will say this is at least a little bit better than the first highlight. All right, so now that the rest of our face is done, let's jump into eyeshadow. So I've been wondering what to do for eyeshadow here because you've got a lot of really great blues over here that are so cute we've got some nice pinks right here i really want to use that orange i think the virgo shade that i used for my blush is really pretty and that an eye look that matches the blush i think could look really cute so yeah so let's do that so i'm gonna start off with the matte shade from leo first it's just a little bit lighter than the virgo shade so I'm going to use that for my transition. My nails are looking a little ragged today. Excuse the mess. I actually have an appointment with my friend. We're going to go get our nails done later today. So that'll be fun. Okay, next I'm going to go in with that darker shade, matte shade from the Virgo and just kind of build that up a little bit. Going for a very orangey look today. Ooh, I'm liking how those look together. 
Before I go in with that shade on my lid, of course, I'm going to use my NYX Glitter Glue because it is the best friend to anyone with hooded lids, no matter what you're putting on your lid. So I'm just going to go in with a little dollop. Ooh, I like that shade. I did get some fallout. I did get some fallout. So let's just make sure that this actually brushes away nicely. And it does. Ooh, cute. For my lower lash line, I really want to try going in with one of like the gold shimmers. So I think I'm going to take both of the cancer shades right here. First go in with that matte and then see if that gold shimmer will stay in the lower lash line. Let's see. Oh, so I don't think it's coming off on camera that well, but I really like the effect that it's giving me. Adds a little bit more dimension and I like the shimmer. Oh, I like it. I don't really want to cover this up with like liner or anything, so I'm just going to curl my lashes and use mascara. That's not like cheating, right? Yeah, I said like full face of powder products. I can't. I mean, maybe I could try using a shadow as a mascara, but that's wouldn't really work. Okay, so one thing to note, while the fallout doesn't stain my face, I do have glitter everywhere. I'm fine with that for today since I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything, but like if I were to consider wearing something from this palette to work, I would rethink it if I knew I would have this much glitter on my face. But glitter isn't always a bad thing. <laughs> just for my inner corner, I'm gonna take that same highlight shade from the middle and just pop a little bit of a highlight right here. Ooh, pretty. Also, I totally neglected my brows, so we're gonna go in and fix that next. I'm gonna take the darkest shade, which I think this is a dark purple. We're gonna see if it works. This is the Sagittarius shade. I'm gonna use that matte shade right there and see how, see how this turns out. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Ooh, I actually kind of like it. Okay, so for lipstick, what I want to try, I'm going to use a nude shade. So this is the Fenty lipstick, and I just want to see if I can tap on the shade Leo, this kind of sparkly, orangey shade, and see how that works. I could also use like a, a clear gloss, I suppose, but I want to give it more of like a base to kind of grab onto. Okay, and while it's still wet... Okay, so while it didn't turn out, like, horrible, can't say I'm a fan of the lips with the look. <laughs> Maybe try putting the other Virgo shade on top. That's a little bit better. I think overall, I probably would wear everything in this look, especially the, especially the shade I used in my brow. I think it looks really pretty, but I'd probably just wear a nude lip with it. Okay guys, so this is the final look of full face using the new BH Cosmetics. <laughs> what was that? A full face using the new BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Science Palette. Since this was my first time dipping into the palette, I'm definitely going to be testing it out a lot more and then I can do some more looks or a full review guys. If you do want to see that, let me know down below. I really like how this turned out with the exception of the lips. I feel like I would just use a different lipstick but i had a whole lot of fun with this also let me know down below what other palettes you want to see me do a full face from thank you so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye